The story of the car is a story of dreams and innovation. People always wanted to travel faster and further. Early inventors experimented with all sorts of ideas for self-powered vehicles. Some were wacky, some were brilliant, but they all paved the way for the cars we drive today. One of the earliest pioneers was Nicholas Joseph Cugnot. In 1769, he built a steam-powered tricycle. It was a far cry from the sleek cars we have now, but it was a start. Then came guys like Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach. They developed the first four-wheeled automobile with an internal combustion engine. But the title of inventor of the first true automobile goes to Karl Benz. In 1886, he patented his Benz patent motor wagon. This three-wheeled wonder was a game-changer. Benz's invention wasn't just a horseless carriage. It had a gasoline-powered engine, a water-cooled system, and even a gear system. It was truly the ancestor of all the cars we see on the road today. Early cars were a sight to behold. They were often open-topped, with large, spoked wheels and spindly frames. Think horse-drawn carriages, but with an engine instead of a horse. They were also notoriously unreliable. Breakdowns were common, and drivers had to be part-time mechanics. The first cars were primarily powered by steam. Steam engines were well understood at the time, but they had their drawbacks. They were heavy, took a long time to heat up, and needed frequent water refills. Then came the internal combustion engine. These engines used gasoline, a fuel that was becoming increasingly available. Gasoline engines were lighter and more efficient than steam engines. This made them a better choice for powering cars. The engine is the heart of any car. It's what transforms fuel into motion. Early gasoline engines were quite crude. They were noisy, smoky, and not very powerful. But engineers kept tinkering and improving them. One key innovation was the development of the carburetor. The carburetor mixes air and fuel in the right proportions for combustion. This made engines run smoother and more efficiently. Another important development was the electric starter. Early cars had to be hand-cranked to start the engine, which could be a dangerous and difficult task. As engines improved, cars became faster, more reliable, and easier to drive. This paved the way for the mass adoption of the automobile. Section 4. Ford's Revolution, the Model T. In the early 1900s, cars were still a luxury item. Only the wealthy could afford them. That all changed with Henry Ford and his Model T. Ford had a vision to make cars affordable for everyone. He achieved this through two key innovations, mass production and the assembly line. Instead of building cars one at a time, Ford built them on an assembly line. Each worker had a specific task, and the car moved down the line from station to station. This made production faster and cheaper. The Model T, launched in 1908, was a simple, rugged and affordable car. It was an instant success. The Model T put America on wheels and transformed the automotive industry forever. Section 5. A New Era electric and hybrid cars. As technology advanced, so did cars. We saw major improvements in engines, safety features, and comfort. But the biggest change in recent years has been the rise of electric and hybrid cars. Early electric cars were limited by battery technology. They couldn't travel very far on a single charge. But with the development of lithium ion batteries, electric cars have become a viable alternative to gasoline-powered vehicles. Hybrid cars, which combine a gasoline engine with an electric motor, offer another option for fuel efficiency. These cars are becoming increasingly popular as people look for ways to reduce their environmental impact. Section 6. From Carriages to Computers on Wheels Looking back, it's amazing to see how far cars have come. From those early sputtering contraptions to today's sleek, high-tech machines, the journey has been remarkable. Early cars were all about mechanical innovation. 
Today's cars are just as much about computers and software. Modern cars are packed with features that would have seemed like science fiction just a few decades ago. We have GPS navigation, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, and even self-driving capabilities. The cars of the future promise to be even more amazing. But no matter how advanced cars become, one thing will always remain the same, the thrill of the open road. That feeling of freedom and adventure that inspired those early pioneers is still what drives us today.